Working and teaching adult learners, um, it'd be very easy to really make the mistake of not setting ground rules. Um, I think when you've got a group of adults coming into the, the classroom environment, um, A, um, you may be in a position that actually they want to be there, which is a really good starting point, but also under the misapprehension that because they are adults, they don't need structure. And really coming into an environment like this might be quite intimidating depending on their previous experiences of schooling. Um, so setting ground rules with the learners is important. Um, probably at um, an adult to adult relationship level, that would be a negotiated set of ground rules where using a variety of techniques, um, you can work with the learners to have something that actually works for them but also works for you. Um, there are some, I find as a teacher, that really you would want to get into the mix and although you are negotiating with them, things like mutual respect, confidentiality, equality and diversity, as well as probably the more um, technical things like setting um, deadlines for assignments, all do need to be discussed. I think, um, especially on a mutual respect point of view, the adults are obviously coming to the environment with plenty of life experience and that's the sort of thing that we need to work with rather than against. Um, and that's something that as a group they need to discuss as well as the teacher bear that in mind as well because really what you want is the respect to go two ways between the teacher and the learner but also between the learners from a peer group point of view as well. Um, confidentiality, again there will be things that are discussed and again needs to be ensured that they're in a safe, from a safeguarding point of view, they're in a safe environment. Again, it'd be easy to think that because they are learners um, who are more mature, they have got their house in order, they're very organised, they've got their time management in place. That's not necessarily the case. And although you're not working with maybe a 16 year old who might say, my dog ate the homework or it, you know, it's, it's disappeared, um, you probably wouldn't expect that. But again, um, you do find to find with mature learners their life experiences and the things that they have to cope with outside of the learning environment do impact on some of those deadlines. But again, having a structure and, and having a process in place so that if extensions are needed, that's something that needs to be negotiated from the, from the offset. Um, in summary, I would say though, that those ground rules, although you're setting them at the initial stages of the programme or qualification, they can be revisited. That's not to say that you can't go a month in, have a look at them, what's working, what's not working. You might find that as a group of learners, they want to make some adjustments. And also you as a teacher, once you've worked out the group dynamics within the group, um, there are some things that need to be re-emphasised, especially maybe after the first assignment date's due in and not only half the group have handed it in. Um, those things can be retackled. Um, but with an adult group of learners, that's something that you can talk about at the beginning so that they realise there are opportunities um, to revisit it and it's not set in stone.